Varuna, Sanskrit, Varuna Iast, Varuna, Malay, Varuna is a Vedic deity associated first with sky, later with waters as well as with RDA justice and Satya truth. He is found in the oldest layer of Vedic literature of Hinduism, such as the hymn 7.86 of the Rigveda. He is also mentioned in the Tamil grammar work Tolkapiyam, as the god of sea and rain. In the Hindu Puranas, Varuna is the god of oceans, his vehicle is a makara part fish, sea creature, and his weapon is a pasha noose, rope loop. He is the guardian deity of the western direction. In some texts, he is the father of god Brahma and a Vedic sage Vasishtha. Varuna is found in Japanese Buddhist mythology as Sutan. He is also found in Jainism. Etymology The theonym Varuna is a derivation from the verbal vr, to surround, to cover, or to restrain, bind, by means of a suffigal una, for an interpretation of the name as he who covers or binds, in reference to the cosmological ocean or river encircling the world, but also in reference to the binding. By Universal Law or RDA, Georges Dumézel made a cautious case for the identity of Varuna and the Greek god Oranos at the earliest Indo-European cultural level. The etymological identification of the name Oranos with the Sanskrit Varuna is based in the derivation of both names from the Pi root asterisk ewer with a sense of binding. The Indic king god Varuna binds the wicked, the Greek king god Oranos binds the Cyclopes. While the derivation of the name Varuna from this root is undisputed, this derivation of the Greek name is now widely rejected in favor of derivation from the root asterisk wars, to moisten, drip, Sanskrit vrs, to rain, pour. Texts <laughs> 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 In the earliest layer of the Rigveda, Varuna is the guardian of moral law, one who punishes those who sin without remorse, and who forgives those who err with remorse. He is mentioned in many Rigvedic hymns, such as 7.86-88, 1.25, 2.27-30, 8.8, 9.73 and others. His relationship with waters, rivers and oceans is mentioned in the Vedas. Vedic poets describe him as an aspect and one of the plural perspectives of the same divine or spiritual principle. For example, hymn 5.3 of the Rigveda states, Varuna and Mitra are the gods of the societal affairs including the oath, and are often twinned Mitra-Varuna. Both Mitra and Varuna are classified as asuras in the Rigveda e.g. RV 5.63.3, although they are also addressed as devas as well e.g. RV 7.60.12. Varuna, being the king of the Asuras, was adopted or made the change to a diva after the structuring of the primordial cosmos, imposed by Indra after he defeats Vrtra. According to Doris Srinivasan, a professor of Indology focusing on religion, Varuna Mitra pair is an ambiguous deity just like Rudra Shiva pair. Both have wrathful gracious aspects in Indian mythology. Both Varuna and Rudra are synonymous with all comprehensive sight, knowledge. Both were the guardian deity of the north in the Vedic texts. Varuna later gets associated with West. Both can be offered injured, ill offerings, all of which suggest that Varuna may have been conceptually overlapping with Rudra. Further, the Rigvedic hymn 5.70 calls Mitra Varuna pair as Rudra, states Srinivasan. According to Samuel Macy and other scholars, Varuna had been the more ancient Indo-Aryan deity in 2nd millennium BCE, who gave way to Rudra in the Hindu pantheon, and Rudra Shiva became both timeless and the god of time. In Vajasani Samhita 21.40 Varuna is called the patron deity of physicians, one who has a hundred, a thousand remedies. His capacity and association with all comprehensive knowledge is also found in the Atharvaveda tilde 1000 BCE. Varuna also finds a mention in the early Upanishads, where his role evolves. In verse 3.9.26 of the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad tilde 800 BCE, for example, he is stated to be the god of the western quarter, but one who is founded on water, and dependent ultimately on the heart, and the fire of soul. In the Katha Upanishad, Aditi is identified to be same as the goddess Earth. 
She is stated in the Vedic texts to be the mother of Varuna and Mitra along with other Vedic gods, and in later Hindu mythology she as Mother Earth is stated to be mother of all gods. In Yajurveda it is said, In fact, Varuna is Vishnu and Vishnu is Varuna, and hence the auspicious offering is to be made to these deities. 8. 59. Ramayana Rama interacts with Varuna in the Hindu epic Ramayana. For example, faced with the dilemma of how to cross the ocean to Lanka, where his abducted wife Sita is held captive by the demon king Ravana, Rama an avatar of Vishnu performs a prapavsha prayer, tapasya to Varuna, the lord of oceans, for three days and three nights, states Ramesh Menon. Varuna does not respond, and Rama arises on the fourth morning, enraged. He states to his brother Lakshmana that even lords of the elements listen only to violence, Varuna does not respect gentleness, and peaceful prayers go unheard." With his bow and arrow, Rama prepares to attack the oceans to burn up the waters and create a bed of sand for his army of monkeys to cross and thus confront Ravana. Lakshmana appeals to Rama, translates Menon, that he should return to, "...peaceful paths of our fathers, you can win this war without laying waste the sea." Rama shoots his weapon sending the ocean into flames. As Rama increases the ferocity of his weapons, Varuna arises out of the oceans. He bows to Rama, stating that he himself did not know how to help Rama because the sea is deep, vast and he cannot change the nature of sea. Varuna asked Rama to remember that he is the soul of peace and love, wrath does not suit him. Varuna promised to Rama that he will not disturb him or his army as they build a bridge and cross over to Lanka. In Tolkapiyam The Tolkapiyam, a Tamil grammar work from 3rd century BCE divides the people of ancient Tamilakam into five Sangam landscape divisions, Kurinji, Mulai, Palai, Marutham and Neethal. Each landscape are designated with different gods. Neethal is described as a seashore landscape occupied by fishermen, with the god of sea and rain, Varunan or Kadalan. Varuna means water which donates the ocean in the Tamil language. Sindhi Hindus Julalal is believed by Sindhi Hindus to be an incarnation of Varuna. They celebrate the festival of Chedi Chand in his honour. The festival marks the arrival of spring and harvest, but in Sindhi community it also marks the mythical birth of Udarolal in year 1007, after they prayed to Hindu god Varuna to save them from the persecution by tyrannical Muslim ruler named Merk Shah. Udarolal morphed into a warrior and old man who preached and reprimanded Merk Shah that Muslims and Hindus deserve the same religious freedoms. He, as Julalal, became the champion of the people in Sindh, from both religions. Among his Sufi Muslim followers, Julalal is known as Khwaja Kizir or Sheikh Tahit. Both refer of Lal Shabazz Kualandar. The Hindu Sindhi, according to this legend, celebrate the new year as Udarolal's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> East Asian Buddhism In East Asian Buddhism, Varuna is one of the twelve deities guardian deities who are found in Buddhist temples. Varuna was called Shuishan in Chinese or Sutan in Japanese, Shui Tien lit. Watery sky. Varuna joins the other eleven deities, Indra Jap. Taishakaten, Agni Katen, Yama Emadin, Nirdi Rasetsudan, Vayu Fudan, Ashana Ashanadin, Kubara Tamantan, Brahma Bantan, Prithvi Chaitan, Surya Nitin, Chandra Gatan. From Buddhism, Sutan was also incorporated into the Shinto religion of Japan. <laughs> Shinto Varuna is also worshipped in Japan's Shinto religion. One of the Shinto shrines dedicated to him is the Sutengu Palace of Sutan, in Tokyo. After the Japanese emperor issued the Shinbutsu Bunri, the separation of Shinto and Buddhist practices as part of the Meiji Restoration, Varuna, Sutan was identified with the Japanese supreme god, Amanamanakanushi. See also 
Adityas APAM Napit Asura Guardians of the Directions Hindu deities Mitra Vedic Thyar Paravar Rigvedic deities Shukra The King and the God Velas God <laughs>